Hello, pre-algebra students. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions. Now the first part of this lesson is adding and subtracting like fractions. Alright, to add fractions that have the same denominator, those are called like denominators, we just have to add the numerators and write the sum over the denominator. So A over C plus B over C, we already have the same denominator, so we just add A plus B. Now remember, C cannot be zero. We've talked about that before. If you try to build a house and it has no foundation, it will not exist. Um, so zero cannot be in the denominator. You can have zero in the numerator, and you could build a house and have nothing above it, but you can't have zero for your denominator. So here's a few example problems where they both have a common denominator of 12. So what we're going to do is add 5 plus 9. And I want you to go ahead and get in the habit of writing the problem again, because on your test I'm going to ask you to show your work, even if you're going to use your calculator. So since we already have a denominator of 12, we say 5 plus 9, and that's going to give us 14 over 12. And we always, even if the instructions didn't have, write it in simplest form, you always, always, always simplify fractions. And 2 goes into both of those, so our final answer is 7 sixth. Okay, and our second example, we have the same denominator again. Practice writing the problem. Uh-oh, we're adding a negative. There are those signs again. When you have opposite signs, we're going to subtract. So we have the common denominator of 8. So in the numerator, it's 3 plus negative 7. So that means we need to subtract 3 from 7 and keep the sign of negative 7 because 7 has a greater absolute value than 3. So it's negative 4 over 8 and again in simplest form so that's going to simplify down to negative 1 half. So don't forget to simplify please. Alright, the third example gives us mixed fractions but they're still like fractions with the same denominator. I want to show you two ways to work this problem. First, because they're like fractions, you can just simply say 1 plus 3 plus 2 ninths plus 4 ninths. You could separate it that way and take care of the whole numbers and then the fractions. So that's going to give you 4 plus and then 2 plus 4 over 9. So it's 4 and 6 ninths. And 6 ninths simplifies, so don't forget you always simplify your fraction, so it's 4 and 2 thirds. So you can write it as a mixed fraction, and with it being like denominators, that's a fairly easy way to solve that problem. However, I also want you to know that you could turn it into an improper fraction, and 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 is 11 ninths plus 9 times 3 is 27 plus 4 is 31 ninths. Now we have common denominator of 9 and 11 plus 31 is going to give us 42 ninths and that will also simplify. 3 goes into both of those and it's 14 thirds. And if you check it, 3 goes into 14 four times <clears throat> with 2 left over. So they're the same, 14 thirds or 4 and 2 thirds. It doesn't matter. On this problem, it really doesn't matter. But I want you to know this is my preferred method um, because a lot of times you're not going to have like denominators. And that's just the, in my opinion, easier way to think about fractions and to add them. And when you start having algebra with variables involved, you're going to want um, the improper fraction form. Okay, so know that you do have options. There's more than one way to solve a problem. I want to jump down here to number 8 and talk about um, where there's a 9 and then there's it doesn't have a fraction with it. So again, you can just add the 9 and the 4, which is 13. And since there's no other number to add with the 3 sevenths, it's just 13 and 3 sevenths. So again, with them being like denominators, your math is going to be fairly simple. So I want you to work uh, the rest of 1 through 12 and work them without your calculator. Um, use your calculator as a tool for checking. 
right, in the back of that page, we're going to talk about subtracting like fractions. Um, so just like with integers, we take the common denominator where we have um, both fractions here have a denominator of 8. And this is going to be 3 minus 5, and that's the same thing as plus negative 5. So now you see why we reviewed um, adding and subtracting integers. So remember, it, you just add the inverse. So you say instead of 3 minus 5, it's 3 plus a negative 5. And now we can just go back to addition rules where when they're the opposite signs, we subtract and keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So that gives us negative 2 eighths, which simplifies to negative 1 fourth. Okay, the next example has x minus y, so we're going to have to use substitution. So again, everywhere there's a variable, let's put parentheses, I said hug that variable, just to make sure we don't make a sign mistake. So there's our x, and there's our y place, and in place of x, I'm going to substitute 7 and 1 third minus 5 and 2 thirds. Okay, this is one of those problems that's a little bit tricky because of the negative sign. So instead of trying to say 7 minus 5 and 1 third, because you will not also say 1 third minus 2 thirds, that'll mess up our sign. So it's better just to go ahead and turn it into an improper fraction. So let's just make that our plan from now on. We're going to say 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 is 22 thirds minus, and then that's going to be 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17 thirds. So our common denominator is 3. We have 22 minus 17. Again, we've kept that negative all the way through. That's the same thing as plus a negative 17. So 22 is bigger. We're going to subtract and keep a positive because of the 22. And that gives us 5 thirds. <clears throat> and that is a fine answer for that problem. Okay, so go ahead and make them improper fractions. That's just a good habit to get into. And again, I know you have your calculators, but I am going to ask you to show your work. So please, on 1 through 6, show your work. This way, if you're not listening to what I'm saying, you can at least see my writing. Show your work and use your calculator as um, a means of checking not the only way of working. And here you'll need to take time to put your parentheses and be very careful. <clears throat> Make sure you plug in the right numbers for A, B, and C. So again, show your work. And now we're ready for our last section of chapter three, where we're gonna be subtracting unlike fractions. So what do we do when we have unlike fractions? Uh, that's fractions with different denominators. That's what makes them unlike. So the first thing we're going to need to do to add fractions with unlike denominators is to rename the fractions with a common denominator. Any common denominator will do, but the least common denominator is going to make our work a whole lot easier. So see if you can find the least common denominator. So for 7 and 3, um, there's probably a lot of numbers that they both would go into. But 21 is the least common denominator. So we want to take 4 sevenths plus 1 third, and we want to get a common denominator of uh, the least common number of 7 and 3. The least common denominator is 21. 7 will go into 21 3 times, and 3 times 4 is 12, plus, and 3 goes into 21, 7, and 7 times 1 is 7. So really, what I've done is I've multiplied this fraction, the top and the bottom, by 3. And I've multiplied this fraction, the top and the bottom, by 7. Alright, and now we're ready, like we just did on the page before, to just add 12 and 7. And that's going to give us 19 over 21. And we'll be finished. So you're looking for the least common denominator. Between 9 and 3, I would think of <coughs> 9 times 3 is 27, but that's not my least common denominator. My least common denominator is 9. And if I did 27, I'll get the right answer, but I'll have to simplify in the end. 
So the smaller the number, the less you'll have to do later. So let's go ahead and put both denominators 9. <coughs> 9 goes once. 1 times 4 is 4. Um, so I'm multiplying here both by 1 since it's already 9. And I'm going to need to multiply here both by 3 to make 3 uh, the denominator 9. And then that's going to give me negative 6 because 2 times 3 is 6. So with my common denominator of 9, I have 4 minus 6, which is the same thing as plus a negative 6. So I subtract my integers here and take the sign of the larger absolute value. So it's going to be negative 2 ninths. And see how I, there's nothing more to do for simplifying. If I use 27, then I'd have to then break it down to negative 2 ninths. All right, I'm going to ask you to try the rest of these 1 through um, well, 1 through 6, and then go ahead and do um, all of these, 1 through 6 and 1 through 3 right here, um, to practice adding and subtracting. Uh, the top half is adding, the bottom half is subtracting with uh, different denominators, so not like fractions, unlike fractions. And I'll leave you with uh, a little joke. What does the bull use to add? He uses his calculator. Y'all use your calculator just to check your work, please. All right, have a great day.